Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode we feature musicians in and around Ventura as well as those who travel here to play. If you've been watching previous episodes, you can tell right off the bat we are switching up the format. My name is Pam Baumgartner. I'm owner-operator of VenturaRocks.com for a little over 11 years now. In between the website, hosting a radio show highlighting mostly local musicians on KPPQLP and writing the music scene article for the Ventura Breeze, there is nothing I enjoy more than helping to support these amazing artists. Joining me now is Mark Masson, lead singer and guitarist for Shaky Feeling. Mark, how's it going? It's going great. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. Yeah. And you know, you are always up for things that I have cooking in the kitchen, so to speak. You know I'm what a, I'm saying? I'm a yes man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as we're recording this show, we are currently in the middle of the COVID-19 lockdown. And so we have this stay at home mandate. There are no bars open. There are no shows to go to live. What are you doing to fill the time? I am writing music, hanging out with my family. Yes. Um, Shaky Feelings starting our album next week. So we've been, me and my drummer got together today and we're doing a little rehearsing, just me and him, get, making sure he still remembers the songs that we're going <laughs> to put on the record. Good, good. And I'm um, <laughs> totally going to take advantage of this time and hopefully do maybe more than one record. <laughs> really? You have that much material? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been it's been five years since we released our last album, so. Which was fabulous, I might say. Thank you. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. So um, the one before that was actually the Green Art People, and I was just going over your website, which is shakyfeeling.com. No G in feeling, by the way, yeah. in case you've never been to their website. Mm -hmm. But um, I was looking at it, and I was just reminiscing that, you know, live at Green Art People, good stuff, miss <laughs> the venue, you know uh, what I'm saying? Don't we all? Yeah. That was all a right. really uh, special time for sure. It yeah. really was. I mean, just the whole ambiance of the place and having a yeah. band like you guys jamming there. So many good bands for sure. Yeah. All right. So um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing a couple clips that you have on your website or on your YouTube channel. And um, the first one that I'm going to be doing is um, the one that you did for me, actually, at Caps Media. And I called oh. up Patrick and made sure that we have permission to do the videos. <laughs> And he gave me his papal blessing. So we're going to go ho go ahead and go to the first clip. And All we're right. ready. All right. God, I have to say, Mark, right off the bat, that is probably my favorite song by Shaky <laughs> Feeling. And every time you play it, I'm just, it's right in there. Tell me uh, a little bit about the, the backstory on that one. When did you write it? Um, 
we'll, that's that's a heavy hitter inside our mind. We like to um, like to play it for those you know like those high energy moments for sure. Maybe after midnight, you know, when everyone's <laughs> feeling a little tipsy. And um, that song is maybe eight years old, maybe eight or eight, seven, eight years old. But um, yeah, I mean, if you never heard our band, maybe we're playing out of state or something. Right. Maybe that's the kind of song we'd open up with. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So it gets the people, they know right off the bat that they got you. Right off the bat. It's like, oh, Boom. Uh, Home run. All right. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> all right. Let's hear some more of that one. <laughs> you know, the thing is, I have to say, no matter where you are, you always look like you're enjoying it and you're having fun. And you yeah, could yeah. say you feed off of the audience, but you're in that studio and it's me. You, it's <laughs> me and two camera people and you still look like you're having the uh, time of your life. Yeah, that is, we're definitely an audience band for sure. So, you know, when we're, we like we like being with each other and, you know, hanging out. And, yeah. You know, you know, all that stuff. If, Plus if, such a great song. But even if two people are watching, we're still getting into it. And we still feel the vibe from you guys, of course. You know. Very nice. <laughs> so we did a little Q&A at Bombay's for this episode of Caps. And when we did that interview, you gave the background of the band. And you did a great job with Franklin at Bombay's. So we're going to actually just go ahead and roll that clip. Uh -oh. So let's go to that. Okay the background of Shaky Feeling. Give us a history of the lowdown on it, Mark. Okay, the history of Shaky Feeling was, um, well, we used to be in the band called The Situation, and we got our New Year's gig opportunity, and the drummer couldn't make it, so me and Paul were introduced, and I kind of, um, I kind of politely stole Paul from an, the band that he was in to, to kind of get through this New Year's gig. Me and Paul started playing music together with our old bass player, Rob, and changed this, the band from the situation to Shaky Feeling. Cameron Proby then uh, we joined the band. He actually hit me up on Facebook, Cameron Proby. He said it was a long-awaited thing. I've been working up to this. Been, you know, that's what he told me in the message. And, well, um, that's pretty unique, having two complete drum kits. Yes, definitely. Uh, it's, it's very rhythmic, pulsing. Yeah. People say uh, when, they, when they watch Cameron and Paul play, they're very in sync and yeah. they just they move together like an engine, which is it's pretty, it's pretty awesome to watch. We went with that four piece for quite a while. I put out an ad for a keyboard player on Craigslist saying- That's um, how Franklin came into the picture. Yeah, apparently he told me that he saw the ad and kind of laughed at it and- um, That's true. Franklin, what did you think about it? I kind of, I did laugh at it and because it said, we don't want no Beethovens. You know, and I, I, I laughed at it and I kind of brushed it off. Well, well, the point of that was we weren't looking for anybody um, amazing at the time, just someone who we could grow with as a band and just uh, write songs together and just grow as musicians and get better and better. So, so how did you finally come together? Oh, well, there was um, every Monday night downtown here in Ventura, they had an open jam session and I, I wandered in with my guitar and, and was... And that was at the Good Bar. That was at the Good Bar, yes, every Mondays. And um, this guy was playing away and... I start playing away. We start um, what they call trading licks. I, I do a lick, and and then Franklin did a lick, and I was just introduced myself after afterwards, and just kind of hit it off from there. I didn't really know where I was going at the time. Just kind of wandered in, but it, like they say, if you don't know where you're going, any road could take you there. And uh, and lo and behold, I finally f finally uh, grabbed what shake or shaky feeling was kind of missing, which was the keyboard, you know, B3 organ the great rhythm section and soloist that he you know he plays amazing solos as well so that's a, what we're missing all along so. that was a lot of fun i got to say you guys did a good job of giving us a rundown of the background of the band and i have to say once again thank you so much for doing that at caps because you have to set up the whole band and then we could only fit in one of the drum kits <laughs> so my apologies about that once again but that was super super fun time love what you do thanks for having us
Of course. So do you prefer larger venues, smaller venues? Because, you know, you play with a band, you go to smaller venues, you play as a solo artist all the time. Mm, yeah, I mean, I prefer playing with my band, of course. We definitely love playing for new audiences, new cities. Um, but nothing's better playing your hometown, you know, yeah. local gigs. Nothing's better. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to go to another clip. Um, this is another one of my favorites. So let's go ahead and roll that one. Just to see the bloom I see my head back and boom the room Watch your band comes for you The pain he brings And you don't know what to do So you reach for the knife in his left hand pocket You slash his throat and you fly like a rocket And you find your piece of time When you look outside just to see the bloom And you see the head popping out of the room the hairs on the arm that start to raise And the pain starts for days Trying to find a peace of mind This evil little place that I'm spending my time The watchman comes for you The pain he brings and you don't know what to do So you reach for the knife in his left hand pocket And you slash his throat and you fly it on the right You find your peace of mind All right, so that was where was that? That was the California Beer a long, Festival. Long time ago, that one. I think that was seven, eight years ago. Franklin just joined the band, maybe. I'm not sure. We were like the first band that day. Yeah. And yeah, a lot has <laughs> happened since then, man. We got new bass players, new songs, and that was just a while ago. Fun day, yeah. though. A lot of beer drinking after that gig, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. Glad you partaked of the beer. So we're gonna we're running out of time, and I, I'm going to play one more clip in just a second here. Um, we're going to go to Las Vegas for that one. But um, tell me about your social media and your websites and stuff, and how can people find out more about you? Uh, shakyfeeling.com. We have our own YouTube page, Instagram, Facebook. It's all shaky feeling. You can find Mark Masson. Go to my page. You can access it there. And, um, you know, spread the word. Tell your friend. Tell your grandma. Tell your Absolutely. Aunt. And you guys have got to see these guys live. Trust me. You're going to love it. As soon as we're able to pack them in again, you're going to want to see them live. Yeah, for sure. All right. So we're going to go to 2014. And this is Legends in Las Vegas. Let's roll this one. So that looked like it was a fun gig. After Fish show, yeah, those are always the best, you know. No play. way! I didn't yeah, know that. Right, right after Fish played, we played down the street, and <laughs> hundred people, hundred people show up, and we just start jamming, and the energy is off the roof. We love. Oh, it. I bet. All <laughs> right. Well, Mark, once again, thank you so much for joining us on the Ventura Rock Spot. Thank you. And that is going to wrap up this edition of Ventura Rock Spot. Many thanks to Mark Masson and Shaky Feeling. And on behalf of Michelle Hoover and GWC Productions, I'm Pam Baumgartner, and we'll see you next time.